These people today don't know what a shrike is. Right. When my men hit the streets from Maine to Texas, every single port a lockdown. You're better off sitting down and let's get a contract and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you and you have no idea what that means. Nobody does. It looks like the Grinch have stole Christmas or is in the process of stealing Christmas from the Caribbean people. Uh, the US and East Coast, the America is now on strike. That's port workers, about 45,000 port workers on strike from today. And the US administration says that they're not going to intervene in the issue. Now, why am I telling you about this? It's because most of the Caribbean nationals living in the US are living on the East Coast and they usually ship out barrels at Christmas time. So those of you who are getting your packages and barrels at Christmas times, you're now at a disadvantage because this strike may go into November and some are even saying maybe into early December, which means there's going to be a backlog of ships and anything coming from China, if you're a merchant in the Caribbean, anything coming from China now usually docks in the US first and then comes to the Caribbean. Now they're saying that those containers will be stuck at sea in the US, berted at sea. And then they're gonna use that manifest to declare these ships one by one whenever the strike is over. So if your ship comes in at number 70, that's where it's gonna offload at number 70. So it's not gonna go first. And that's a problem for merchants in the Caribbean if you're bringing stuff out of China on the way to the US. So that is an issue that they're going to face. It means that there's going to be a surge in costs as well. Freight costs starting now as the strike is in play. There's already a surge in the freight costs for stuff coming in from China into the US, which is heading into the Caribbean as well. So where are the workers striking on the East Coast? Look at this. All in red from Maine, all the way down to Florida and even into Texas. So we're gonna break this down for you because if you know all our Caribbean nationals living in the US, they're on this East Coast. A lot of them are on this East Coast. So this is where the, the dock workers are striking in Boston and Newark in New York, Philadelphia, coming all the way down to Miami and going all the way over to Houston, Texas. Now, if you notice, we ship a lot of barrels from the Caribbean out of uh, Newark, New York, Boston, some in Charleston, South Carolina, and then down out of Miami. There's a lot of warehouses in Miami that does a lot of shipping to the Caribbean, um, whether out of um, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, well, there's Jacksonville on there. So that's where the problems are coming. Now, I remember just about a couple of weeks ago in Barbados, they were saying to buy early as prices are set to rise and the business leaders were warning about this. Maybe they had, they had some knowledge of what was taking place where they're saying Barbadians are being urged to complete their Christmas shopping early as the cost of goods is expected to increase sharply due to soaring freight prices. Well, they saw the freight prices going up because that happens around this time of the year, but I'm not sure if they also knew about the strike that was pending because this strike was being discussed for a long time in the US. These workers have been looking for their pay raise since after COVID because they worked long hours and they did not get the payment that they were supposed to get. And my men had to go to work on those piers every single day when everybody stayed home and went to work. Not my men. They died out there with the virus. We all got sick with the virus. We kept them going from Canada to Maine to Texas, Great Lakes, Puerto Rico, now the Bahamas, everybody went to work during COVID. Nobody stayed home. Well, I wanna be compensated for that. I'm not asking for the world. They know what I want. They know what I want. And if they don't, no, then I have to go into the street and we have to fight for what we rightfully deserve. So this was in the play for a very, very long time. And so this is what is happening. And these guys were talking about this very early and they were also criticized for talking about it. Some people were saying that they were putting certain people at a disadvantage. And then you had the issue here, global trade disruptions hit consumers pockets. And they're saying the interconnectedness and vulnerabilities of Caribbean economies have been exposed yet again, as Barbadian and regional consumers hold their breath over the looming threat of a major port worker strike in the United States. This has already started, all right? The planned industrial action, which began today, could not have come at a worse time as consumers 
struggling with high food prices and energy prices and supermarket expenses eroded the disposable income of most households. The U.S. is set to lose $3.78 in a one-week shutdown. Yeah? The thing is for this is that there are enormous figures and the local private sector is already signaling that import costs will likely shoot up even further during the peak Christmas shopping season. That is for Barbados and the entire Caribbean. Now, the point is that even if your ship goes around to Los Angeles, there's going to be a problem because it has to use trailers all the way back to the East Coast and then ship out to the Caribbean. That is going to be money. And th those those trailers will hit the East Coast and they will go nowhere because the ships are not moving. Even if you take that vessel and route it now from Los Angeles and say you're coming around the Panama Canal and coming into the Caribbean, you're going to have to pay more for it. And that is what I believe some people may do, but it's going to be higher for it, which means higher cost for the Christmas season. So we are in a lot of problems. Within the American economy, the strike would occur at a time when retailers are reportedly scrambling to complete their import inventory to show consumers the desired items will be available. And if your content is on the way from China and it's coming to the US, it means therefore that it's going to be lingering and birthed at sea for a while. And we don't know when the strike is over. Some persons are saying it, it could go into the holiday season. So there is a problem. And we're going to have to look for new ways of getting our stuff into the Caribbean. It's going to cost even more. So I just want to put you on alert. All right. Stay tuned. We're going to keep updating you on this as it goes along.